So these are the things that you should know before, sorry, before you move into your own apartment in the UK. The only time I ever knew about like living by myself was like back in uni, when I stood in accommodation and obviously bills included, so it's easy. However, when I moved in by myself, I realized how much I had to be paying for. So I didn't know we had to pay for water bill. And I don't understand why you have to pay for water bill because water is like an essential part of life and I don't get why we have to pay for it, but you know, okay, cool. Then you have council tax, which is very, very important. Um, I still don't get why I have to pay for it, but we do. Um, and it's something that actually could possibly ruin your credit if you don't pay for it. Then obviously, of course, is the rent, which you can pay for it weekly or monthly, depending on whatever, whatever. And yeah, another thing is how wild the rent prices in London are, especially because our houses here are so small. So I don't even get why we pay so much for them, but hey ho. We have things like Wi-Fi, internet that we have to pay for. And obviously, if you want to use your computer, work, use your phone or whatever, it's important to have Wi-Fi in your house. Then we have electricity and gas, which is something you do have to pay because they will actually cut the supply off if you don't pay for it. So yeah. And it's important to obviously have a good provider that actually doesn't overcharge you and stuff like that. And yeah. But oh my gosh, before you move out of your parents' house or whatever, like just be considerate because it's actually not cheap living by yourself. Yeah, living by yourself is actually mad expensive. Another thing that people don't factor in is the fact that some of these places that you're gonna move out into don't have furniture. So you're gonna have to buy the furniture yourself and that's obviously like extra money. And we haven't even included food yet. If you have a pet, we haven't included food for the pet as well. We haven't included like literally like toiletries, things that you're gonna need around the home and things like that. And like transport for wherever you go to and things like that. So all these bits and bobs literally add up. And I get it, it's glamorous to live by yourself and live alone and take nice content of your day and in, in, in a flat and nice, nice, nice house. However, it ain't cheap. It's really not cheap. So yeah, you gotta save up a lot before you do move out, do your research and kind of prepare yourself for what's to come because sometimes some bills come out of nowhere and you'll be literally amazed and shocked like how much it costs. Like even if you're one person living by yourself, your council tax could still be like, well, depending on where you live, but literally my council tax is over 70 pounds a month, 70 pounds a month for just council tax. So be super sure that you actually wanna live alone and move out before you do because yeah, it ain't cheap.